Hey everyone, welcome back. In this tech tip, we're going to explore some of the piano roll tools, namely the fruity arpeggiator, the strum tool, the quantize tool, and a couple more. All of these tools provide quick and easy ways to alter your sounds in different directions if you're looking for a quick change of scenery, and they'll come in handy if you're stuck in a rut and looking for something new to inspire you. So let's get started. For the first example of this showcase, we're going to be using this chord progression. So let's begin by playing it through. Now let's go into the piano roll and select all of these chords by holding control and using the left click. So in the upper left hand menu we'll find the piano roll tools. And from this menu we have a bunch of different categories as you can see. So let's start with the arpeggiator function. The piano roll arpeggiator tool allows you to apply arpeggio effects based on fully customizable arpeggio scores and a set of additional options. Unlike the arpeggiator in the channel settings, the piano roll arpeggiator is not a real time effect, however it does allow for much more customization and control. So as you can see right off the bat this has created an entirely new arpeggiated melody. We'll just go through some of the controls here. So on the right we have the time multiplier. And that'll basically just add in and remove notes uh, depending on where you choose it. Or where you set it and then we over here we have the pattern selector so this will change the pattern based on what you choose here we have normal flip and alternate just to give you an idea of what that sounds like i'll go through a couple of them Over here we have a range function which will determine what range the ARP, the ARP is uh, spanning in terms of octaves. So it's one octave, two, three, four and so on. We also have a different mode selector for the range. Down here we have sync, so we have time, block, and chord. Time uh, won't restart it, block restarts on a new block, and chord restarts on a new chord. So chord is the one I usually tend to go for. So as you can hear, there's a lot of room for exploration here, and it's a nice way to transform your sound if things are feeling a bit static. So let's move on to the second sound in pattern two. As you can hear, the progression right now sounds a little lifeless and dull, so we're going to remedy that by adding more of a natural touch to it through the use of the strum and quantize functions. So just like before, let's go and highlight the sound and begin by opening up the strum tool. So I'm going to use the time parameter on the left here to replicate the pattern of a strum where each note comes in one after another, as if you were playing it on a guitar. Of course, it's never going to sound as natural and as real as guitar, but this can help to add a bit more of a human feel to your progressions if they're sounding a little monotonous. So 
So as well as the time functions here, we have velocity, if you want to change that too. I do tend to use this to bring the lower velocities or the lower notes down in velocity because I feel like the typically the lower regions take up a bit more space so it's nice to just kind of level them off a little bit of course depending on the sound that you're working on. Next up we have the quantize tool and this will be useful for adding slight discrepancies in timing and velocity to some of the top notes. So again, let's just open it up. Basically, this tool will let you change the time, sensitivity and duration of notes. And we have a bunch of FL Studio score files which you can use as pre-made template patterns. So let's open them up and go through a couple of them. And just note that this tool is going to be most obvious on patterns like drums and percussion. So definitely try this out on them. But for now, let's just add some subtle changes here. Alright, let's move on to our final sound on pattern 3. The last two things I want to show you here are the chop and flip tools. So let's start by selecting these notes again and opening the chop tool. So as you can see, this tool slices your notes up into different timing variations. And just like the quantize tool, we have access to score files. So I'm just going to play around with the time function and some of these templates to uh, show you how this can be used to quickly add some variation and rhythm to your chords. some score files in here. So a handy little way to just change things up quickly. Uh, finally, we have the flip tool, which is really straightforward. This just flips your chord progressions in different ways and can sometimes serve to bring a new feel to your progressions. So I'll open it up to demonstrate. So we have flip horizontally here. Now let's activate vertically, this will definitely give it a different feel. So as the name entails, I really did flip the mood of that and it's a handy little tool if things are getting a little bit boring and you want a change of scenery. Alright, so that covers some of the basic piano roll tools. I hope you can put some of these to good use and I'll see you in the next video in just a minute. Thanks everyone for watching. We really appreciate all the support from you guys. If you love this video, then smash a like and if you want to be notified about new videos, hit the subscribe and notification buttons. Peace!